Hi, my name's Matt, and this is the series where I solve your problems. I asked you on Twitter to tell me your problems. Now I'm going to attempt to solve your problems. Please make After Effects Sky replacement tutorial in a simple way. I can do that. So first we want to make sure we have a clip with a clear blue or white sky. This will make it a lot easier. Let's go into our effects panel, go to keying, and apply color range. Now we're going to use the eyedrop tool to select the sky, and then use the plus eyedrop tool to select around the sky. Just make sure that your sky is all black. This should isolate our foreground. Now let's do a camera track. Camera track done. Create camera. Add the photo or video of the sky. Enable 3D on your new sky. And that's it, you're done. Problem solved. Looking for a wife, please help. I, I think there's an app for that. Problem solved. Here's my problem. 24 hours is not enough for me. How can I extend my time so I have more than 24 hours? Thanks. You just wanna enable time remapping. Problem solved. It hurts when I pee, what do I do? Just stop. Problem solved. How do I do a kickflip? I got you. First step, grab your skateboard. I couldn't find my skate shoes, so these will have to do. And we're gonna start with the ollie. This is the foot positioning for an ollie. We wanna push down with our back foot and push forward with our other foot. With enough practice, we should be able to get the board off the ground. Now for the kickflip. It's a similar motion to the ollie, except we wanna change our foot position and we wanna pull our front foot off the board a little bit. Our back foot can move forward a little bit. Now when we pop the board up, we just wanna follow through with our kick, letting our foot hit the nose and the board should flip. You want to make sure you jump high enough so that you can make sure that your feet can come back to the board. And this is how you do a kickflip. Problem solved. Tips for editing videos in slow hardware. Suggestions on tricks to edit to music when playback is very choppy. Let's see what we can do. Here I have some rock footage and I'm going to show you how I edit it to this beat. Now if you haven't seen my shortcut video, go watch that video right now and come back. Because if you want to edit fast, you need good shortcuts. So here's what we're going to do. Let's pull our footage over the music. So what I'm going to do is hit spacebar and trim the end of my clip on the beat. So what I'll do is I'll lock my music and I'm using ripple trim next edit to playhead shortcut. Don't worry too much about the framing of your footage. All we want to do is get our edits in first. So here's how I do it. Great, so now our footage is cut to the beat. I did this super quickly just by hitting W and playing through the footage. Now we want to adjust the timing on the footage using the slip tool. All right, and just like that, I quickly made a little sequence. Now to double up on this question, you asked how to edit on slow hardware. Uh, one thing is to proxy your footage, which I'm sure you already know that. A proxy will create a lower res file used just for editing, and then when you export, it'll use the original clip. Another thing you can do is to use this global effects mute. If your playback is slow, you can enable that and it'll disable all your effects, and then at least that way you can scrub and take a look at your footage. Problem solved. When you record a video in flat color profile, how do you bring back contrast, sharpness, and colors? Okay, so I'm here in Premiere, and I'm going to show you exactly how I correct my log footage. So this here is the flattest color profile I can shoot in, and I'm just going to use Lumetri and my waveforms. Now I like to use my Luma waveform so I can just focus on exposure. So we're going to start by lowering the blacks, and then the shadows, then the highlights, and then the whites, and then back down to the blacks and the shadows highlights, and then the whites. So in this example, I'm practically maxing out all these sliders here. So in this case, because this is so flat, I think I'm actually gonna have to use my curves to compensate. All right, that's looking pretty good on the exposure and contrast. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of saturation 
That looks good on the saturation. Now for colors, we can change the hue and the saturation. I don't really like to affect my colors too much, but I will add a LUT to give the colors a little more character. I always put my LUT on a second Lumetri just to keep everything separated. Sometimes I run into issues if I have the LUT in the same Lumetri as my basic color correction, it uh, glitches out and doesn't work. And that's it. That's how I color correct log footage. Problem solved. All right, let's keep going. How do I tactically end a friendship with someone who likes well done steak. Easy. Step one, join a pyramid scheme. Essential oils, protein powder, vitamin pills, hair products, makeup, doesn't matter. Step two, there is no step two. Nobody will be your friend if you're in a pyramid scheme. Problem solved. Tips and tricks on reducing background noise and sound when you are recording slash editing audio. My number one trick for this, it's free, NVIDIA RTX Voice. But apparently you can even use this without an RTX video card, but I'm gonna show you a trick how to use it after you've already recorded your audio. Okay, so for this, we're gonna need a few things. One is we need a recording software, Audacity works great, and we need software that will allow us to loop our output back into our input. Uh, we can use voice meter to do this. These two softwares are both free. So all we wanna do to make this work is to go into our sound settings and set voice meter input as our main playback device. And that'll take any desktop audio and send it to this software. And then in this software, we wanna set our output device to our headphones. We can do that by clicking this A1 here and then selecting our headphones. So to make sure this works, I'm just gonna play the audio and then take a look at our levels. And that's it. That's all you have to do with this software. Just make sure you have your headphones set to your output so you can still hear your audio. Now let's open up RTX voice. We want to set our input to the voice meter output, not the aux output, just a regular output. Now what will happen is any audio that your desktop is playing, it will be processed by RTX voice. So over here, I have a noisy sample. I had the fan pointed at my microphone as I was talking. One, two, three, testing, mic check. So you can hear a bit of uh, background noise there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop over to Audacity, our second recording software. I'm gonna set my input to RTX voice, and then my output can be the voice meter input. So now I'm just gonna hit record, come back to our timeline here, and hit play. Mic check, one, two, three, check, one, two. Mic check, one, two. So what just happened there is it recorded the playback, and let's take a listen. Mic check, one, two, three, testing, mic check, one, two, mic check, one, two. And just like that, we use RTX voice to post-process our audio. Problem solved. How can I unencrypt a symmetrical encryption using a asymmetric key without a remote receiving client? Problem not comprehended. All right, this one came in a DM because it was a little bit longer. So I'm gonna paraphrase this one. So he built an office detached from his home and his Wi-Fi range isn't giving him enough internet for gaming. I'm looking for a solution to get the best stable connection over long distance, roughly 50 feet being the router in my house to my separate office. So I have two solutions for you here. You can get a really expensive wireless router and that might solve your issue. But if you really want that speed to your office, you're gonna to have to wire it. Now the cheapest solution would be to buy an outdoor ethernet cable and literally run it from your house to your office. Drill a hole through your wall, run it all the way across. This isn't the most pretty solution, but it will absolutely fix your problem. I'd consider this problem solved. All right, that's all the problems I can solve for this episode, but feel free to send me more problems and I will try and include it in the next episode. Use the hashtag Matt solves your problems and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button. Thanks for watching.